What a crazy announcement at Figma Conference, the Fig Figma Config 2025. Figma uh, announced a Figma Sites, which is basically a content management system where you can build websites straight out of Figma. I think this is a very big strategic change for Figma. Uh, obviously, Figma used to be, and I say used to be, a design tool, but now it's much more. So with the recent announcement of Figma sites, they entering basically more of the technical side. And But let's go through it, what Figma sites is actually and what it means for us as digital strategists, web developers, and in general, web professionals. So Figma sites, everything you need to design, prototype, and publish all in one place. I think it's already interesting that, uh, well, design is obvious, you design in Figma, but then they also mention prototype uh, and obviously also publish. But it's interesting that they mention basically prototyping because obviously you did that anyway in Figma with the Figma prototypes, more the static prototypes, but now obviously you can create code and actual websites for uh, prototyping. But this, this word here kind of already includes that it's not made for the big uh, real website, but it's actually more for the small and prototyping uh, type of websites. It's just my very first impression, but there are very, very interesting features. So first of all, uh, what you see here, you have this nice Figma-like experience, and that's actually the, 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 the new uh, way you have these pages. So basically you can create this log, and then you also can um, um, create something I would call a content type. So basically a database entry with, for example, title, body text, image, etc. So kind of store structured data and map that to the Figma design. So this is really, really nice. And if you have that in one tool out of the box in the same workflow as you design the site, that's, that's very, very interesting, um, an interesting concept. Yeah, perfect layout every time on any device or size, screen size. It's easier than ever to launch a live website designed exactly the way you want it. Turn your Figma design frames into flexible layouts. So uh, yeah, as a web professional, um, we all know that building responsive and in interactive rich websites is not an easy thing. And especially if you have a Visivic type of uh, build, what, how is the code, code quality? And that's certainly something I'm very interested in, what, how the code quality is when you actually create sites in Figma. That's also interesting. So you can reuse blocks. This is typical content management functionality, but they kind of recreated that. Uh, you can also add interactivity. I mean, stuff you can do in Webflow or Framer Motion. They already have that in a very early version. Um, yeah, super interesting to see how how that works. I haven't tried the tool yet, but um, they already have um, interactivity and animations in it. With Figma sites, I can design and publish a website in minutes. It's everything I, I, I've wanted in one tool. Yes. Prompt it to live. Obviously, they also want to include AI. This feature is not yet released, but uh, I mean, if you're um, used to tools like V0, Windsurf, uh, Cursor AI, this is not something revolutionary, uh, revolutionary new. But what I like here is that it's directly built into the design tool and yeah, basically combine design with code. All of Figma at your fingertips. Yeah, start with a Figma file and then you can create your library, your design system. And with that, you can build now with Figma sites, a complete website. Yeah, they also come with templates. So this is really competing with Webflow and Framer and similar tools. Yeah, very interesting. So my personal opinion is yeah, it's a, definitely a strategic shift of 
what Figma as a company offers. Also with the other announcements of Figma Config, they basically broaden the spectrum of products and become more and more a competitor to Adobe, which I like. Uh, with Figma Sites, um, it's an interesting new, um, very, very logical um, direction. So obviously, once you have a Figma design, you want it to have it as a website or as an app. So it totally makes sense for Figma to um, yeah, enter this market. It's probably quite interesting for the competing systems like Webflow, Framer, Squarespace and the like, how they react on that. Uh, obviously, all these tools also worked on similar features specifically for integration, integrating the Figma file into the tool, basically translating that to front-end components. I think the existing tools like Webflow are already much further than uh, what Figma Sites has today. Um, well, I think Figma Sites will evolve over time. So yeah, what that means is there is a new competitor on the market uh, from a player. We maybe haven't expected it, so it's quite interesting and a bold move of Figma to go into that direction. Personally, I'm excited. Uh, I think it's, it's interesting what's happening in the space. Uh, super curious about the quality of the site and also the maintainability of the site. Certainly that works well for microsites, um, basically solitary small sites, um, may, maybe a designer can do and deliver. If you want to build a bigger website, a bigger web application, as a developer or as a, a digital strategist, you probably want a little bit more control, but we'll see how that evolves. Definitely very interested, interesting movement of Figma. Super curious what you think about it. And yeah, with that said, uh, this is uh, the Modern Web Architect YouTube channel. If you like videos like this, this consider subscribing. And until then, see you in the next one.